Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ari and today I've got a new unboxing for you. So Clever Crow Books uh, in January had recommended a bunch of book boxes for me in the comments of one of my videos and this is one of the boxes that they recommended uh, that I decided to pick up. I picked up two horror boxes. Uh, this one I believe ships from the US, the other one ships from the UK so I don't know when I'm gonna get that one in uh, but it'll probably be a little while. Uh, let's let's see what's in here. Now I don't remember any of the details about this box. I don't remember how much it is. I don't remember what comes in it. It's it's fairly heavy. I'll link the website down in the description below if you're interested enough to pick it up based off what's this what's in this box. Usually what I do is I will subscribe to a box uh, for about three months, get three boxes, and then decide based on those three boxes am I interested or am I not interested. Let's go ahead and open this, see what's in here, and I always give you guys the first peek in the box. And we've got puffs. What are packing peanuts? That's what these are called. Boxes within boxes. We're gonna open this thing up first. Ooh, styrofoam, my least favorite thing in the world. Alright, this seems to be a little like flower vase, maybe? Book. So it's a book ceramic book. You use a flower vase, you could put pins, bookmarks in it, whatever you want to do, but it's very cool. Uh, this is Twisted Retreat. Wait, uh, the book is A Hunter's Guide to Slaying Vampires. It says Twisted Retreat here and then Twisted Retreat. You're probably going to need more than just garlic on the back, which is very cute. Focus, focus, there we go. It's the front, the side, and the back. I like it. I like it a lot. That's a very cool thing to add to my collection of knickknacks. Next up we have this. There seems to be a candle. Oh, everybody's favorite pastime. What is the scent of the candle that I'm about to badly describe? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have much of a scent, but I would say generic Christmas is what I'm getting from this. Seems to be Sleepy Hollow Headless Horseman, a four ounce soy candle. Um, it does not say what the scent is anywhere on here. But let me show you. That is our design. No. Oh. We have the lid also has a design on it. Next up I've got this, which is Black Cherry Plum and Merlot Handcrafted Bubble Elixir. So bubble bath for your bath, and it's Dracula flavored. Alright, more, more smelling things. Oh, that smells delicious. It smells... What am I smelling? It smells like spicy wine. So I guess I'm smelling the Merlot, but I'm not really smelling the black cherry or plum. It smells spicier than that. I would definitely use this. I will definitely soak my whole body in this. It's quite lovely. It looks like there's still quite a few more things in here, but next up I've got this, which, a uh, candle holder? Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it's got to be a candle holder, right? Like maybe a tea light candle holder, a thick pillar candle holder. Probably not going to get a whole lot of use out of that, but for right now, it can hold my bubble bath. It's the perfect size for it. Next up, I have silverware. <laughs> All right, for this, we have a, a full set of silverware. It's uh, black almost, or I guess it's gray, almost black. It's probably meant to be black. It comes across a little bit more gray in person. Um, and it's got like this really pretty edge detail on it. There we go. So dark, we got the big spoon, the knife, the big fork, 
and then the tiny fork and the tiny spoon. Uh, I know there's actual uses for these. I don't know them off the top of my head because I'm not a fancy eater, but silverware. Do I really need like a single set of silverware? No. But I'll probably just throw these in my drawer and use them. <laughs> there's, there's more. <laughs> There's uh, at least two other things. Uh, next we've got coffee. Coffee to save your soul. Revive me coffee to save your soul. Coffee always saves my soul, so I'm really done with this. Uh, and it's roasted here in Texas. It doesn't tell me what kind of coffee it is, but it is coffee. Next up we've got a pen. So we've got, you know, a stack of books, a stack of horror books, Carrie, Frankenstein, The Haunting of Hill House, Dracula, and Poe, a candle, a skull, V spooky. And then we have, a, I guess it's like a business card, but it looks like a tarot card. It, it's not actually a tarot card. There's nothing on it except for, or I guess it's justice. Maybe it is a tarot card. It does say justice on here. Uh, and Twisted Retreat, so. I don't know if this is actually a tarot card they're gonna send me a whole deck or if it's just like a business card that's in the shape of a tarot card but i do have this um i also have the spoiler card here um that does break down like everything that comes in this box so we get something home and garden something lifestyle something from the arts something health and beauty and something food and beverage so home and garden is the vase or pot and then the utensils lifestyle is the rustic candle holder Arts is the enamel pin. Um, health and beauty is the elixir, the Dracula elixir and the candle. And then the food and beverage is obviously the coffee. Um, we also have the education section, which is the book. And the book this month is Claw Heart Mountain, which is wrapped in this plastic wrap. So I'm gonna undo this plastic wrap and then tell you more about this book. We're real fancy with this book first off, sprayed edges. Very awesome sprayed edges. Um, then look how pretty that is. It's also signed by the author. Uh, so and then the end pages of course are pretty. So very nice, very high quality horror books. If you're into horror, you want horror books, this is great. Uh, basically plot of this book, I've never heard of it before. I don't know if it's any good, but what happens when good people make bad decisions is the catch line up here. Um, friends are on their way to a remote cabin. They discover an abandoned armored van with $15 million on board and decide to take it. But apparently a serial killer is already after the money and there's a creature known as the Wraith roaming the forest that they're in. So uh, yeah. Creature feature. I don't I don't know if that sounds good or not. I'm very new to horror. So I'm gonna have to read this. I'm gonna come back, tell you what I think about this book at the end of this video, and we'll see we'll see how much I enjoyed it. So far all of the gadgets and extra stuff in there, that's a lot of stuff, and a good portion of it is very cool to me. Okay, Claw Heart Mountain by David Oppegard. I'm gonna say how you say his last name. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't like this. It's a two star for me. I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt and say that it's like a comedic horror, um, kind of like scary movie <laughs> where it's mocking the horror genre and that this is not like a serious horror uh, because I would have a lot more problems with it if this was meant to be a serious horror and not you know, something fun and light. Our main character, our final girl, if you will, is written like, or reads like she's written by a middle-aged man. And I mean, the author may be a middle-aged man. <laughs> she's kind of, she's got kind of like that creepy vibe where she's not a real human being. She's just like the fantasy shell of what an older man would be attracted to in a young teenage girl, um, which works as a parody, but is really creepy. 
if this is not a parody. Uh, she's like a goody two-shoes, she's always perfect and she's always sweet, uh, but she's very easily influenced and she's kind of really dumb. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, we have a <laughs> hired killer, which like his entire character is just like an absurd joke. Like everything stereotypical you can think of, like badly done stereotypical about like a killer for hire trope uh, is this guy's character. Like, he leaves his house to go recover the money and there's a sniper on the roof across from his house and he has to sneak up and kill him. Like, it's absurd. <laughs> um, and then the third perspective par character we have in here is a cop. And in my opinion, she didn't need to be a perspective character. She didn't really even need to be a character at all. Um, but she was the best written out of all of them, but maybe I just don't have enough respect for police to think that she needed to be more intelligent than she actually was. <laughs> that could be me being a little judgmental on this one. The extra teenagers, our final girl has four friends, um, and they're kind of just like rich assholes. Like I see characters like that a lot in the in horror books and I always feel like they're just written in um, with like very lacking personalities and what you do have of their personalities is like you're like ew I don't like this person to make it easier for the author to kill them off. Not necessarily that the author kills them off but they're not somebody that you're going to be sad about dying if or when they die, if that makes sense. Overall, like, if you like horror parody, horror comedy, this may be for you. I don't like that genre to begin with, so I don't know if this is actually a good representation of that genre. Um, or even if it's really supposed to be that genre, it's not just a badly written book. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I would say if I'm going to recommend it to anybody, I would recommend it to people who like uh, a horror comedy. I would not at all ever recommend this to people who like serious, like spooky horror. This is too far too ridiculous for that. Um, so is what it is. I was never gonna like every single book that comes in a book box, so that's fine. This is for somebody, even if it's not for me. Um, the only other issue I have with this is the binding of this book. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like slanted now. But the binding of this book is not very good, because I'm not exactly one to break my bindings ever, um, but now that I've read this, it, like the binding is broken. Um, so not the best quality in the very, very pretty book. All right, that is that book box. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you for the next one. Bye.